welcome back to leah's design studio so welcome back welcome back welcome back today's video is another um mirror flower mirror tutorial obviously as you read by that beautiful title and that beautiful thumbnail you kind of already got a picture like in mind of what i'm gonna be doing today so yeah i'm doing an oval flower mirror the mirror um i actually got it from dirt cheap which is basically like a bargain hunt kind of store like you just get good things at discounted prices um they were doing like a getting rid of crap sale and i should have got more i only got four of them so i'm hoping i'll be able to get some more from them um but i haven't been back to check honestly i've just been using the same ones over and over again but yeah my advice though when doing these mirrors is to watch where you place your flowers because in my last video when I was going back to edit, I saw like how my placements were off, like, and it kind of made like it look a little bit more sloppier in my opinion. Some of y'all still may have think like it looks good, which it does. I know I can do better, but my point is, it does. If you don't watch like how you place them, if you hold them longer, um, they will stay still. Like I'm gonna upload a picture right there in the corner um, of a flower. Sorry, mirror rose. Jesus, I can never say it right. <laughs> of a mirror that I did um and as you can see like all everything is symmetrical like I did I popped my shit on this because everything's symmetrical like everything looks in place um on the previous video I did of a, of the first fire mirror that I reposted on YouTube to me it just looks softier this one didn't look as bad because in the end I actually fixed a lot of my mistakes which typically is what happens like in the end i'll look like you know oh i could have did this better let me take that off which you guys will see at the end but yeah if you want to see more of these like comment and subscribe i'm also gonna um comment down below color coordinations that you want me to do because as y'all know i only know pink and white and ivory um, but yeah, just comment down below options, color options that y'all want me to do. It don't matter what color, it really doesn't matter. But yeah, if you want one of these and you don't want to make them yourself, of course you can always shop my AC link and I'm always having a sale. So go check me out on there. It's Leah's Design Studio, of course, and also it's included in the description box. You could just click the link and go shop and support your girl. But yeah, these are very easy to create. I honestly cleaned the mirror at the beginning at the beginning of the video because um, I didn't want the reflection to be so smudged and so dirty. Because honestly, when I'm carrying them, like bringing them to where I'm working on it, I'm always just putting my finger on the mirror. So I just want to clean it off. Um, obviously, it's gonna get big dirty because when you're working with a hot glue gun, the little screens will always get in your way. They will make a hot mess i promise you it's been so many times where after i'm done doing using a hot glue gun it just be screens all on the mirror like all throughout the mirror that's nothing you have to be careful with i don't think it's anything you can do because that's just how hot glue guns work um honestly i'm not that experienced with them so it doesn't bother me too much of course it gets on my nerves but it's just something i just deal with um but as for making these um when it comes to pricing them you have to just look at how um how much you spend on supplies how many roses it takes who you get your roses from what's the price per unit when you're buying the roses and just how much supplies you use honestly i'm gonna have to start counting how many hot um glue gun sticks i go through because honestly when making this mirror i probably went through like five of them if not more and sometimes especially when i first started like my first mirror of the day i usually let the hot glue gun like just sit with the stick in there because it makes it hotter and the hotter to me it is the easier it sticks also you need to be careful with burning yourself i burned myself over five times at this point since i've been doing them it hurts like heck it gets over it's like one of the things like when you hit yourself and it hurt and you'll be fine the next second because it literally dries super fast um but yeah that's pretty much all i have to say these are fairly easy to make if you want to make it um i'm a really artsy and craft person so it wasn't that hard for me as you guys know i do press lines i think if you can do press lines you really can do anything arts and craft not anything but you get the genre of it but yeah i wasn't trying to talk throughout this whole video but basically now i'm just talking 
Um, but how are you guys doing? I'm gonna start back doing personal videos. I'm actually making one this week. <laughs> um, I know I fell off. Okay, this is what I want to talk about. As you guys could just saw how the inside of it is like you can see the wood part. Um, I didn't record too, too much of me doing this because it took forever for me to cover it all in. And I kept wondering like, eh, I, just, I kept stopping. So honestly, at that point, I stopped recording. Um, I did include snippets of once I did get it done. But I just didn't include the full process of me covering the inside of it. Which honestly, that's why I was rushing to cover the outside of the mirror. Because that part isn't the hard part. It's the covering the inside of it. And trying to make sure like that I'm covering all the wood. Because, like, honestly, when you hold the mirror up, you can see wood from the inside. To me, I don't like the look. It doesn't look finished. It doesn't look authentic. Like, it doesn't look unique to me. For me, personally. Someone else, they may like that. But for me, it was enough. I wanted all of it covered. Um, all I wanted to see was roses. I didn't want to see no wood. Um, also, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I started adding more pink because I wanted... I really, I'm gonna put the inspo picture up there and I want you guys to let me know how I did. But I had went and I put inspo picture on Pinterest and that's kind of what I was going for because I like that they had mostly white and ivory, but a few like adjacent colors. I didn't want it to be too, too pink because not everyone loves pink, but I feel like just a henna pink would be fine. But yeah, um, I honestly started cutting like something, some of them off and kind of just not using the full mirror. Not sorry, not using the full mirror, not using the full rose and just peeling some of them off because they come in like five, like literally five little flowers in one makes one rose. So I would just take them apart and use them like that because you only need a little bit of stuff in between like each rose just to make it look a little fuller. Which like I said, that took me probably like an hour just going in between filling all that in. But it was worth it for the end result. Trust me. This is where I was talking about recording, but I didn't show like me finishing it. That's not the finished look. The finished look is right here. Boom. You see how I covered that? Yeah, it look good, don't it? And also right here. But yeah, if you guys love this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, babes. Love you.